Hey chemistry kids, here we go for starting our new unit, uh, Matter and Energy. Here are the 12 different objectives that you guys are going to see, which should have been handed out to you. Um, it's also on your shared folder. Here is the place where I'm checking the videos out. Okay, remember no space in that stuff, capital S. And then if you need questions, there you go before after school, during academic seminar, whatever works out for you. So here we go, let's talk about Matter and Energy. So first thing on the Matter and Energy notes matter okay so we have to classify it how it all works out so we know that matter fits right here and I don't have the best writing but you'll deal with it so there's matter matter is the all-encompassing term matter takes up space and it has mass okay matter can be divided into two different things pure substances and mixtures. Mixtures are physically combined. Meaning they're hanging out together but they're not really doing anything. So like, think of it like in your classroom, you have a physical mixture of people there. You're all in the same area, you're company in the same space, but you're really not physically or chemically doing anything. Whereas pure substances, it's more of a chemical deal. Right, they're chemically combined, it's tougher, tougher to separate them. Mixtures go into two different parts. They go into homogeneous and heterogeneous. Okay? So the key thing for telling the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous, hetero means different, homo means the same. All right, so the same throughout, different throughout. So homogeneous, you're going to fall into three categories. You're going to go here, you're going to have solution, which have very small particles. So it's going to be like Kool-Aid, or maybe lemonade, or soda, stuff like that. Then you're going to have colloids, which have medium-sized particles. An example of a colloid would be like mayo, ketchup, mustard. You can kind of see the particles a little bit. And then a suspension would be the third one. These are going to have large particles. So large particles would be like this, like orange juice with pulp, or this could be um, river water that settles out. Milk is actually a suspension too. Sometimes colloids and suspensions can fall into the heterogeneous mixture. So there it's kind of a gray area, but for our purposes, they fall under homogeneous. Heterogeneous mixture we got, um, they're gonna be different throughout, so there'd be things like pizza, hamburgers, um, most food is going to fall into that whole mixture. Marble cake, stuff like that. It's different throughout. You're not going to get the same uh, consistency, consistency after you cut it apart. So there is your mixtures. Pure substances fall into two areas. We're talking um, compounds and elements. So compounds are going to be two or more substances. Whereas elements are usually just going to be one, one substance, one element. So compounds could be like H2O, um, which is water, C6H12O6. That's a compound. That's sugar. All right. Whereas elements are going to be like iron, um, gold, AU, things like that are going to fall into the, the elements. So make sure you guys know some examples and how this whole thing ties together. Um, three main states of matter. There's going to be solids, liquids, and gases. All right. Solids have definite mass and definite. Whoops, let's move up here. Definite volume. Liquids are going to vary. So they vary in volume, but they have mass. And gases are going to vary with both. Variable, so they vary in mass and um, volume. All right. You will run into what, that one we'll talk more about it, and that's plasma. P plasma is just highly charged gas, and it would be like lightning or the northern lights, things like that. All right. So keep in mind how what these mean and what they actually how they fit into the whole scheme of things. There are some border states that we might talk about. Like for example, we used to did a lab with slime. 
slime, Play-Doh, um, Silly Putty, and there are more technical ones like on the science community. These are all border states because they kind of exhibit states of both solids and liquids. All right, so there is your start of your notes for classification of matter. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Take it easy.